What's going on YouTube? I'm hanging out in my living room. Wife's not here, she's working, so this is what I decided to do. Work on my bike, right? <laughs> work on my bike at the coffee table. Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell her. Shh. So today I'm on biking. Um I have a buddy now, I like to ride with him. His name is Jim. So Jim has a eighty five hundred dollar mountain bike. It's a Santa Cruz high tower. Fully carbon. Beautiful orange, right? And uh I try hard to keep up with him. Hard to keep up with him. And he's 51 years old. I'm 37. And he is whooping my butt. Right? So, I'm getting it. I'm getting it right behind him. I'm getting better every time I go with him. And, um, you know, I have a 27.5 bike. Plus bike. And I decided to go ahead and slap some 29 tires on there. Right? Which I love. I love how it feels with 29 tires. <clears throat> I learned something today. I'm a big guy, I weigh 270 pounds. I fluctuate between 265 to 280 sometimes, you know, depending on the holidays or if I feel like eating or not, right? So, check this out. I burped my front tire. Two things. Two things I learned today. One, all this reading that I'm doing, I'm realizing that it is important to have a wider rim. My back rim is a WSTP. See if we can find it here. See if we can find it here. Boom. It's a WSTP, right, I-25 rim. Most people say, hey, go 30. I was reading up, right? I got a good deal on the rim. You know, came came with a, a, a cassette, high engagement. Uh, what, 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 what is that? What is that? High engagement. High engagement um, Novatec 5-Paw hub. Right, um, and then the front I didn't I didn't order one because I had some twenty nine rims already from my old bike. The non boost order spacer kit, put it on there, worked great, right? But they're i twenty threes, and you'd be surprised the difference of just two millimeters makes. So <clears throat> I was riding this bad boy today, right? This is the i twenty three, and uh, made it tubeless. I put a Max's uh, Ardent tire that I had on there two point two point four. Not tubeless tire, and it's not a tubeless rim, but it works. Uh, so, because I tried it, it works, and uh, I've been riding it like that for a while now. However, I second thing that I learned was is the pressure was way too low. Okay, I'm a big guy, any big guy, and they tell you that, yeah, go ahead and run pressures of like 20 psi, 18 psi, don't do it. Don't do it. If you're going fast on the trail and you're whipping that front tire and you're taking them tight turns, I'm athletic. I'm a big guy. I'm strong. I got, you know, I got I got some muscles, you know, I, I think I do. You know, I do jujitsu uh, a lot. Uh, I, I do a lot of different things. I'm always running around with my kids. And uh, don't, don't, don't go light on, on, on the pressure. Um, I pumped that bad boy up to like 28, 30. I think I had about 30 PSI. Way better, way better. I mean, the difference was like night and day from, it felt good at 20, felt like a lot of grip, but once I put it at 30, I felt comfortable, it made me feel more more secure about the front end, uh, was able to roll over stuff better, more responsive. Um, yeah, it's a little, it's a little tight. Um, it is cold. I'm sure when it heats up, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to play with the numbers. I'm going to try 28. I'm going to try 25. I don't think I'm going to go any more lower than 25. Um, I will get a wider rim eventually. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find another 25 or 30, somewhere in between there. I'm trying to find a good deal on it, you know, because I'm a mountain biking dad on the budget. You know how that is. And we'll see. But, yeah, big guys, big guys. Man, I'm telling you, and I know it's hard because I don't see a lot of reviews or a lot of YouTube videos on big guys biking. Man. Please do not go 20 PSI unless maybe you have a wider rim because you have more more volume in the in the attire. Size of the tire is important. These are 2.4s. Um, I go 20 PSI, 22 PSI on my 27 plus, but those are 2.8 tires. So those are completely different. I mean, you can you can tell. Look, this is my hand on this tire, 2.4. Ardent, right on 23 millimeter rims and this is my hand on the 2.8 big 
big difference, big difference. And uh, I went tubeless on these things too. That's why I was able to go 20 PSI, 22 PSI, and they were great. They're a lot slower, so much slower. I had Max's Minion 2.8 tires on there that I came with stock on the bike. Uh, I went on Amazon and I ordered these, these uh, what are these, uh, V-Tire from V-Tire.com. Traxxas, where is it? Yep, they're Trax Fatty Tires 2.8, tubeless tires for the pair, and I only pay $63 for the pair, $63 for the pair on Amazon. I mean, man, if I was a, if, if, if I was getting paid right now, I'd be just all over like, yeah, Amazon this, Amazon that, but I'm doing that anyway because I gotta save money. Everybody's gotta save money. I know you do get what you pay for. I've been trying out these tires. I bought these for my other bike. These are, this is a V Flow, all right, tire, came tubeless. I spent $43 on this 2.629 tire. I would put this on my other bike, right? This is my Devon Back Shorty non-boost to a 2014, right? I would put that on there, but these are non-boost. And this is the pair that I have, uh, I-40, WTB I-40 rims. Very heavy bike, um, but rolls over everything haven't broken a spoke i mean these things are built like tanks if i'm going to i'm thinking about selling this bike taking these rims off putting a stock wtb i 23 rims on there and i'm probably going to order some some uh not uh some boost hubs and put, put them put them on there yeah i can't speak english today i'm tired <laughs> you know how it is cooking cleaning Washing shoes because my kids like to mud their shoes and put them in the back and I help them out. Mountain biking for eight miles, you know, learning how to bunny hop on the trails too. I was learning that today too. I was on the trails for about three and a half hours a day. Just trying to trying to learn some stuff. Um, and uh, here, I'll give you another, another tidbit of advice, big guys. Don't be afraid to jump. Don't, don't be afraid to jump. Take those jumps, man. Start learning how to bunny hop, how to... I mean, just try to learn everything that you can. Um, I am learning so much more. I've been biking since I was 16 years old, but now that I'm more into real mountain bikes, and everybody knows what I mean by real mountain bikes, I hope, you know, not Walmart, not them steal garbage bikes, right? But um, I'm learning that these bikes can actually take a beating. They can take your weight. I was riding this, this sortie when I was 300 pounds, and... It wasn't flexing on me. It wasn't doing anything. I didn't start breaking spokes until years later because that was my fault. I didn't go and get maintenance done on the wheels. I got maintenance done on the bike, not on my wheels. I thought because they were true, they were fine. Um, I was I was popping spokes. I also popped spokes because I went tubeless the wrong way. And a lot of the sealant leaked inside. I left them in the shed for a winter, put them back on. When I started riding because of oxidation and, you know, um, uh, rust, they just started popping and breaking. So take care of your wheels, big guys. Take care of your wheels. They're important. Wheels are life. If you can make the investment on wheels, make the investment on wheels. Um, I'm looking at Amazon. Amazon has has a pair of i30 wheels with Novatec hubs. Um, great reviews. I've, I've seen them on, on other websites like Worldwide Cyclery. Um, what else? Um, competitive Cyclists. I've seen them on there for like $350. Amazon has them for like $300. Bucks. Um, I'll, I'll post a link up here somewhere, maybe down here. I don't know. I'm trying to still figure this YouTube thing out, but I'm going to post it. All right. Uh, so you can see it and uh, great reviews on it. And those are the ones that I'm going to order. Um, I'm probably going to wait till income tax time, which is I'm waiting for my check. <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, all right, man. Just, um, you know what? Would you guys help me out? Comment down at the bottom, right? You know how everybody has their signature, like, you know, single track, track sampler has his, you know, their free thing. You know, you got uh, my man, Mo Awesome. He's got his little, you, 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 you know, type thing. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what I should, if I should, if I should do that or not. I don't know, my my thing, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, Puerto Rican from New York, living down in semi-country, you know, uh, 
Only thing I like to say is uh, peace.